Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about the NCAA Women's College Softball Conference Tournament that have been going on now as the um, teams are now did have finished with their um, conference play. Now they're going into the conference tournament and then after conference tournament, they will go into regionals. So starting off with day one, day one of the con um, the conference tournaments for um, many of the different conferences started on Wednesday. So going on with day one. So this was May 8th, um, starting off in, in the SEC tournament, number 20 Alabama would go against number 12 LSU. Um, you know, this game was honestly, um, I watched this game personally myself and this game was a really battle back and forth game for both teams not only were the teams defense doing very well by the pitchers um but offensively the teams were just trying to figure out what they needed to get going um by getting the run scoring the runners on base and not leaving them on base so for most of the game this game was tied two to two this game did end up going to extra innings and lsu would score in the 14th inning and they would win this game and advance to the next round um, in the SEC tournament. Alabama with the loss would now have a record of 34 and 16 and you know then now with the loss they would have to wait and see um, what the rankings would be or like regionals. Um, with the win, L number 12 LSU would now be 39 and 14. Going on to game three, in the SEC tournament, Ole Miss will go against number 10, Missouri. Missouri will win this game 3-1. to one. Missouri would advance um, in the, to the next game in the SEC tournament. Number 10, Missouri would now be 40-14 and 14 with the overall record. Going into game four, Auburn played against number 13, Georgia. This game was honestly a battle, but... Um, after 14 innings, Georgia was able to win this game 6-5. Georgia would advance in the SEC tournament, and they would now be 40-15. and 15. Game 5, number, uh, number 5 for the SEC tournament, South Carolina would go against number 15, Mississippi State. South Carolina dominated this game. Um... They really gave it to um, Mississippi State in this game. Um, they really, you know, are making a statement, being not a ranked team, um, probably. Um, and also, in this game, really showed the rest of the SEC teams that they're coming to play. They ain't playing around. Um, so they would go with the upset, and they would win this game. Uh, Mississippi State would have an early exit in the SEC tournament, and with this loss, they would now be 34 and 17. Going on to game two of the conference play tournament, so these games happen on Thursday, May 9th. To start off the Sun Belt Conference, number 17 Louisiana would play James Madison. This is game three for the Sun Belt Tournament. Louisiana would win this game eight to zero, and they would advance to and um, further in this Sun Belt Conference Tournament. And Louisiana would now be forty one and sixteen. Game three of the ACC tournament would be number seven Duke versus Boston College. Uh, Boston really did fight in this game, um, but after ten innings, Duke um, takes the win. Um, two to zero, and they advanced in the a ACC tournament, and now have a record of forty four and six. Game three of the Big Twelve tournament, BYU goes up against number three Oklahoma State. BYU upsets number three Oklahoma State by winning this game seven to two. BYU advances in the Big Twelve tournament. Oklahoma with an early exit. Um, and a major upset in, in the Big 12 tournament. Um, they are now 43 and 10. Um, 
I would say everyone was looking forward to the matchup of Oklahoma versus Oklahoma State in the semifinals for the Big 12 tournament. So this is definitely um, some people probably going to feel like now that Oklahoma is going to have a free um, advantage into the championship game for the Big 12 tournament. But, um, you know, Oklahoma, I can just say that BYU is not coming to play around because, but... Out of the three games series, Oklahoma played against BYU. BYU did beat Oklahoma in the one game that they beat them. They beat them 9-4 in that game. Going on to the Big Ten Tournament for Game 5, Indiana versus number 23, Northwestern. Indiana upsets number 23, Northwestern by winning this game 4-3. Indiana advances in the Big Ten Tournament and... Uh, with the loss for number 23 Northwestern, they are now 33 and 11. In game one for the Patriot League, number 21 Boston University against the Army. Number 21 Boston wins this game 2 to 0 to advance in the Patriot League. And they now have a record of. Let's move it on. Um, game two is now the Pac-12 tournament. Number 22, Oregon versus Utah. Utah upsets number 22, Oregon, by winning this game 7-4. Utah advances in the Pac-12 tournament in number 22, Oregon, an early exit in the Pac-12 tournament in this game. And then in game four, uh, for the Big 12 tournament is number four Oklahoma against number um, is against Kansas. Kansas, sorry, Oklahoma wins this game 10 to one. Um, they definitely showed a very dominant performance, and they um, from their rough weekend ahead, they definitely came to play in this game. Um, and show everyone they're not playing around. Um, they're now 47-6 and six in Oklahoma advances to the semifinals, and they will be playing, like I mentioned before, BYU. Continuing on in the day two matchups, um, for game number three in the Pac-12 conference play, Number 24, California, would play against number 6, Stanford. Number 6, Stanford would win this game 4-2 to two, and now have a record of 44-10, and 10, and they would advance in the Pac-12 tournament. Number 24, California, with their loss, would now have a record of 36-17. and 17. Game 5 for the ACC tournament, number 18, Florida State versus Northern Dame. Number 18, Florida State would win this game 2-0. to zero. And would now have a record of 42 and 13, and they would advance in the ACC tournament. Game number six in the SEC tournament, number 12 LSU and number two Tennessee. Number 12 LSU would upset number two Tennessee, winning this game two to one. Number 12 LSU now will have a record of 40 and 14 and advance to in the SEC tournament. And number two Tennessee would take the early exit. An upset loss against number 12 LSU and now have a record of 40 and 10. Um, I would say that the game series of LSU versus Tennessee was definitely a good series in their regular season of conference play, so this is definitely LSU's way of being like, you know, we're coming back, you know, whatever happened, conference play happened, conference play, but now we're coming back harder. Game five of the Big 12 tournament, number one, Texas versus Texas Tech. Number one, Texas wins this game 13 to four, advances to the semifinals in the Big 12 tournament. Um, Texas is on the other side of the bracket, so they would play the winner of Baylor and um, UCF, I wanna say. Don't quote me on that because I don't know for sure, but I know it's Baylor's number four seed. So it would be the winner of that game, and then they would play the winner of BYU in Oklahoma for the championship game. Game four in the Pac-12 tournament would be number five UCLA versus number um, versus Arizona. 
Number five, UCLA would win this game 6-0, and US UCLA would advance in the Pac-12 tournament and now have a record of 35-10. and 10. Game six in the ACC tournament, number 19, Virginia Tech versus Georgia Tech. Georgia Tech would upset Virginia Tech and win this game 6-2 and advancing in the ACC tournament. And number 19, Virginia Tech with the loss would now have, have the record of 41-12-1 and, and would take an early exit in the ACC tournament. Game 5 in the Pac-12 tournament would be number 14, Washington, and number 16, Arizona. Number 16, Arizona would upset number 14, Washington, winning this game by a dominant win of 11-3. Number 16, Arizona would advance in the Pac-12 and now have a record of 34-5-15. and 15. And Washington would now have a record of 31-13. Um, going back over some of the records uh, that I may not have mentioned before was Oregon is now they're 20, um, 22 ranked Oregon is now 28 and 19 with a loss to Utah and number 24 Stanford is now 13, 36 and 17 with a loss to number 6 ranked Stanford um, so that I believe covers all of the oh and then number 21 Boston now has a record of 49 4 and 1 with the win over army um that is my overall breakdown of day one and day two's um conference play tournament co conference tournament play I don't know I'm trying to still trying to figure out how I want to word it but yeah that is all for this video um please subscribe if you're not already so you will be notified every time i upload a video i want to thank you guys for watching comment down below any other sports talks you would like me to do on my channel um feel free any sport i haven't done or any team that i haven't talked about thank you guys for watching bye guys